Oh man, has this year been transition. brows are a thing now so I do them like a good girl are we glad do I look ridiculous what's this I don't know how to do them I didn't grow up doing them it's not fair guys so maybe you've been wondering why i'm getting ready and it's clearly not rv some might even call it a hotel some might be right and the reason is oh man has this year been transition speaking of transitions i learned how to do this watch man has this year been transition transition number one we bought the rv you knew about that Transition number two, we moved all of our stuff into that RV and then we stayed in one spot so our child could go to school. Now that was the plan, we knew that would happen, but during that year, transition slash, oh my God, no one could have suspected number three, and that is that we had major, major health problems. Chris broke his back. I mean, not broke his back, but basically broke his back. During that year, it was kind of miserable and we were really happy to get out and as we thought, travel for the following year. So transition number four, we ended up moving to the Yosemite area. Transition number four. And this might take a bit to explain. The plan was to travel for Luna's junior year and then have her come back and spend her senior year so she can do all the senior things at a traditional high school. However, when we got out to the Yosemite area where we were going to spend two weeks, only, only two weeks, the fire. And things were pretty miserable for all of us concerned. We were blessed to have a place to live. Things were looking pretty bleak. Until, a happy transition for once, transition number five. Transition number five is that Chris got another job, a great job, and it just happens to be, that's right, it's in Petaluma, right where we left off. It's like this last year can be just a memory, hopefully. And uh, while we did get to do a little traveling this past year, this transition is looking to be a positive one. We needed to be in this nearby area for Luna School anyway. So now we're in transition number 11.97B, which is to find a place to live.
Just report to the head. Transition number 1.9762 from a hotel to to hotel 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 to well not to that place I found on Craigslist but this is some of the cottages. I had climbed just a tad bit to get here. They're putting away some dogs right now. And then there's a trail. Hello, I'm a trail. It's very woodsy. The insides so far have been very cute, but I've only looked through windows. I haven't gone in one, so that will happen soon. I tried, I went up there. It looked really nice and peaceful and what have you, but I mean, the lady that was there was cray cray. The lady that was there wanted to be all up in our business and she wanted to like look in people's windows and she wanted to know everything about my life including what's wrong with my car and when was I going to get it fixed. Um, I We already paid the money for it but honestly I would spend that money again to never have to go there. I was getting anxiety at the idea of having to deal with this woman again. So I'm gonna say hotels so far have been way above this Craigslist experience. And though I've been looking on Airbnbs, the Airbnbs in this area are super expensive. So. Transition number 542. I just fell. It's always times like these like the in-betweens of the insurance, like the, I'm by myself now, and ain't nobody here to fix me, and also my hair looks a mess, a mess, a mess, a mess. Guys, guys, it's really hard to live life. I hurt my knee, like I said. Um, it looks probably like a small cut, however it is more like I fell down on the corner of a stair and I was holding Lumpy, and it was just after I knocked uh, or dropped off Christopher. So, so what? So I take care of myself? Like, no big deal, right? But, Jesus, now I need a freaking wheelchair. Wham, I'm such a freaking baby. Anyway, things happen. We're dealing. Lucifer? <whistles> Lucifer, come. Lucifer, come. Come, Lucifer, no. Leave it. Come here. Oh, sorry. You heard my scary voice. Transition number. Okay. So here's the deal. Pretty soon, everything's going to be stabilized, which means the truck will get fixed. Uh, we'll find a permanent place to live that will hopefully be in an RV park, but we'll also allow Luna the school she wants, and then, uh, and then I'll find the job that I want for the year. Stable. And so while my husband is gone, I sit in another hotel room, and it's not bad, you know, at first look. There are certainly some issues, but uh, I shan't complain because I am sitting here homeless, popping from place to place, trying to figure out where I'm going to stay until my husband gets back. And then when that happens, we find places to stay until we, I don't know, get something more permanent. Let's go with. I can't walk around much since I injured my knee and I'm sitting here in an ace bandage, looking real attractive as I limp across the lobby. So this is how I'm, I'm gonna roll. First of all, I have gone ahead and uh, found myself a four star hotel for next time, because it's three star. Actually, I just got a good deal on like first line or some crap. But also, 
I decided stop it, Lucifer. I'm gonna quit it. But also, I decided to get myself two mimosas. That's right, two, and come back up here to my rooms because I otherwise I just think of Lucifer the whole time and I worry about him. Even though he doesn't need to be worried about, he's just playing with his ball the entire time. Doesn't even care whether I'm here or not. Lucifer, do you love your mommy? Do you love mommy? So I'm gonna sit here with my two mimosas and I'm gonna read my YA book. I was a YA librarian for the last several months and I'm into the simplicity, honestly. And life's a bit complicated. So I'm gonna read my YA book and or my roomie book, because that's suddenly a thing, uh, and or some Billy Collins to, to uh, clear the palette between the roomie, and or what else did I get? Uh, Roxanne Gay's something about women, powerful women, strange women, difficult women, something. Anyway, point being, I'm going to look at this view. I'm going to make sure my dog is okay. And uh, I can't walk around much, so I'm going to have two mimosas and read a book. That's the plan for now. The difference between a three and a four star hotel is a better headboard. You think it's a, not the view. Not the view. Not the rest of the place. That's wrong, too. It's just the headboard. 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 It's been a minute. I haven't been doing this for a while. At least a year. Same exact faces, different location. <laughs> Interesting. Looks like this two and a half star is gonna be the sweet spot. Headboards, unable to be ripped. Smart, smart, smart. <gasps> Puppies, allowed. But I had to pay an extra twenty dollars because they saw me coming in. I wasn't as slick as I usually am. Has a microwave and a refrigerator and free breakfast. We've got a uh, again space desk, coffee maker, all the typicals, and a shower. <sighs> Wait, let's do it. Let's do it. We play. We play hotel ball. Hotel ball! <laughs> it's funny because it's not our house. And also it's not really hurting anything. What are you doing over there? I really thought that two and a half stars was the sweet spot. And I think I might still agree with myself. However, we got a good deal on a three and a half star and I'm gonna say it's certainly better than the four star, um, but but let me show you why. First of all, the art, not even mention the art in the other places. Uh, the four star had some very abstract art. The rest of it was, if anything, like who cares? Uh, apparently the headboard has been a thing for me lately. And this headboard, not ripped. Also not like that cushy um, plush stuff that apparently gets ripped so easily. It's kind of a nice fabric feel, and it's the same, or at least a similar fabric to this. What's this? Yes, it's a chaise lounge, which I shall be reading on. I already have read on, and will continue to read on. Remember what I said about the art? What's that, an entire wall of art? In fact, an entire wall of hipster art? I am a sucker for a bicycle. I can ride my bike with no handlebars. That's actually incorrect. I mean, I can for like four seconds. Me and balance are not friends, uh, but I can ride a bike. Moving on. All right, so we have a lovely uh, entertainment area, desk. It's kind of fancy looking, a little bigger than I would, I would have chosen for the space. We have a beautiful light up here. See that light right there? that light, I cannot for the life of me figure out how to turn on. Someday, I've turned on everything, I swear, but I cannot get that stupid light to turn on. Anyway, so we also have our, our closet over here with your typical iron and what have you in it. And here you're gonna see that we have 
a lovely mirror lit. Uh, it also has a mirror for my face, not lit. A beautiful bathroom that uh, I don't know how they get these to be so clean. Please somebody explain, I am in need of this hack. Uh, and I actually am a super fan of this wallpaper. I've been looking at textured wallpaper a lot lately and uh, I like, I like. So yeah, this place, three and a half stars, does allow pets, $75 fee that I didn't pay because that's just how I roll. And uh, pool, what have you, what have you, it's in Napa, it's great. I love it. However, I can take a two and a half star with a free breakfast and just take this for like every once in a while. Um, do you love mommy? Yes. Do you love daddy? No, really? Okay, well, no more talking for him. He doesn't like it. All right, so we're here at our next two star roadway in and I, I did mention that two and a half stars is probably my preference. However, this place does allow pets. We did tell them he was here, which is good because I saw so many cameras and we've got a pretty decent, cute little setup. We happen to have a refrigerator and a microwave in this particular one, which makes it much nicer. Bathroom kind of typical setup as well. But here are the things tend to make it two star. We don't always, oh, I don't know, replace our doors. Um, there's some carpet issues. And then let's go with this is my morning. We've decided to put all the maid carts right outside my room. They congregate here, they chit chat. It's been lovely. Sarcasm. That is my crochet. That is not yours. That is not yours. Honey, I need it. Can I please just have my... I'm taking it. It's mine. It's mine. Give it to me. Give it to me. It's mine. No, but I need it. Ah, you are not What are you doing inside of my yarn? That is super rude. You are very rude. Finally found a place and it's in Monterio. 